What you collect at the grindstone becomes a millstone in time. With Master Voices, I'm always looking for something unusual to perform, something that we haven't seen. Lady in the Dark hasn't been revived on Broadway ever, and I think one of the reasons is that it was a very lavish production originally. So it's always wanted to be done at a certain level of scale, and I think that's something that Master Voices can bring to the table. I think Lady in the Dark is resonant for a number of reasons. First of all, it was a landmark musical in 1941, and it is a story about a, you know, a very strong woman. Because Liza Elliott, the lead character in Lady in the Dark, runs a fashion magazine, it was my idea to involve the fashion world in our production. And so, of course, I went to the top, and I, I asked friends to introduce me to Anna Wintour, and she graciously met with us. And she introduced me to Hamish Bowles, who is an editor-at-large at Vogue. So with his help, we've involved the work of three fashion designers, each of whom is going to design elements of clothing for each of the dreams. My role in this production is one dream sequence in the color blue, the glamour dream sequence. I was really nervous because I had never met Victoria Clark. I've heard Victoria Clark sing, but you know, it's, it's a real collaboration and, and my history is about my relationship with a leading lady. There's like this kind of very Hollywood Regency starburst to this neckline and the sheerness there that then falls into these sleeves um, which create some dimension and shape and definitely editor-in-chief flair of the 40s. With this production, with this balance between surreal dream sequences and kind of a concert staging, it's bringing in just those kind of focused, clear elements that let the audience uh, take their own imaginative ride and kind of fill in the blanks. Um, the chorus functions in the dream sequences as Liza's unconscious, the voice in her head that's taunting her, that's praising her, that's questioning her. I feel Lady in the Dark is still really relevant today. When the authors were writing in 1940, the world was changing rapidly, and this show focuses on a self-starter, a woman who's risen to the top of her field and is running a large corporation. At the end of the show, she charts a new path forward for herself, which I hope will come as a bit of a surprise to her and to us.